Hi everyone, this is Rosie from Rosie's Reviews and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. So these are my two favorite shampoos. I have that shampoo from e.l.f. I believe it's around 4 to $6 and usually they run deals on e.l.f. where you can get them up to 50% off and you know Black Friday they usually have them for 60% off. Um, so it's a pretty cool, uh, cool deal. I also use the Echo Tools and that I got from Ulta. So what I do is I have this rubber, um, this rubber that I use for the to remove the makeup, and what you do is you wet it, and the bag sticks to the sink. But I'm not gonna be sticking it. What I do is the bag I use it as a handle to hold onto. So what I do is you wanna use not hot water, not cold water, but look warm water, and that's the type of temperature you want for your brushes. So these are all the brushes I have, and I'm gonna start with my biggest brushes. So these are the brushes that I use every single day. I don't necessarily apply eyeshadow every single day, but these are my face brushes. Um, this big one is for the, I use it as for my finishing powder. The pink one that you see there, it's, it is for my blush. And then one of them is for the highlighting. And the other one I use it for contouring. I do like the bronzing and then I do some of the other colors so I don't look as dark and I look you know exactly tan it's the powder brush it's what it's called all right guys so what I do is after I I leave my sink running with a little bit of uh, like I said look warm water and as you can see I do about two I clean the brush twice so once I put soap on it and I clean 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 and then you'll see that a lot of dirt a lot of makeup residue that's sitting there it is recommended that you clean your brushes once a week and yes it does take a couple of days for them to dry because you want to let them air dry you don't force them to dry you don't use a hair dryer you let them air dry see this is the first run it's a little bit pinking it used to be very tan but you want the bristles to be white so i go ahead and use more soap look warm water and i scrub 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 and as you see there's still dirt coming out and you want to get rid of all that dirt because you don't want to have any bacteria any makeup residue in your brush you want a clean brush um, like I said it's recommended you do it once a, a, a week but if you can't do it that often maybe once every two weeks um, that's how often I do them um, because it does take time for them to dry see how clean it is and what I do is I lay them out on a towel for them to air dry um, so you do this same to all your brushes you do one run and then you get rid of all that makeup and then you do a second one to get rid of even more after you rinse it so you what i do is after i'm done you know cleaning them and everything i leave them out to dry um, for a couple of days in my bedroom do not leave them in your bathroom as this is an area that has a lot of bacteria you're brushing your teeth you're flushing your toilet do not leave them there so this is a comparison of the makeup one with versus the one that's already clean um so yeah i go uh, like i said i clean this um once every week once every two weeks but i do alternate between these brushes and some other brushes that i have to let these ones dry so these are the ones that i use all the time they're my favorite ones um they're the ones that i use on my face they consist of the angled brush which is for your blush your bronzer that taper brush that you see it's used for the concealer around your eyes and nose the flat brush um it's used for foundation and the flat angled brush um it's for the foundation around your nose and mouth uh, the round brush it's for a powder but i use it for mostly for my blush that's the one that i use and the small um, angled brush it's for contouring hollows of cheeks and sides of the nose because you want something small on your nose you don't want something big that's gonna um, get you a lot of makeup where you don't need it you just want a little bit of bronzing so you can brush it off and blend it well and then the small flat angle brush is for the concealer under your eyes and around your nose. And of course, the smallest brush that you see here, that one I actually use it to highlight. I use it for my nose, for the top of my lip, my cheekbones, under my eyebrows. Um, so that's what I use. And these two that I'm cleaning right now, is I use those for my eyebrows. I alternate between the two and each time I use them, 
I don't clean them how I'm cleaning them right now. Um, what I do is, so you don't want your brush to be all, because I use I use the uh, pomade like for my eyebrows, and I don't want them to be sticky next time I use them. So I always have makeup remover towel, and I use that to clean off my makeup, or I'm sorry, to clean off my eyebrow brush. So the next time I use it, it's ready to go. And now I'm continuing to use my eyeshadow brushes. So these are my eyeshadow brushes. I have quite a few of them. And the reason why I have so many of them is because I use them for different colors and for different blending. I One of them I use it for my you know lower lid and the other one for corner, the other one for blending and the skinny or one. Um, like an angled brush I use it for under the eye so I use a variety of brushes because I have different colors and each time I use each of them I do use the wet towel um, to remove any makeup so the next day that I'm using it I can start fresh and I don't have any makeup residue from the previous makeup that I did on it um, so this that's why I have so many brushes because there's different things that you use for them like I said, some of them were for highlighting. Some of them are for most of them that I use the little brushes. The ones that you see right now are for the eyes. They're for my eyeshadow. Depending for the look that I'm going for, it's the type of brush that I use. Um, I know specifically there are some that are for specific things or for blending or large eyeshadow brush or powder brush, angled brush. I use it all depending on the colors but you see how they're all nasty they are all have that makeup residue so make sure you clean that make sure you clean your brushes you want to avoid any bacteria from getting into your eyes or from you spreading it into your face also make sure that your brushes are in a place that you it, they don't have a lot of dirt like a place where you're able to cover them where there's not a lot of dust coming in make sure they are covered um, because you don't want any dirt that you're mixing it and putting on your palettes your, and you're putting it on your face because you are going to break out. So make sure you clean your brushes and make sure you have them somewhere where there's not a lot of dirt flying or you're covering them with something until the next time that you are using them. So the reason these ones are more orangey is because I use this for my... So sometimes you're doing your eyebrows and you get a little bit too dark or you go a little bit too low and what I do is I grab some foundation or concealer and I clean it up so these are brushes that I use to clean up any mistakes any mistakes that I do on my eyebrows and any mistakes that I do with my eyeliner um, sometimes it doesn't come out so I have to go and use more makeup or concealer and that's where I use these and these tiny ones that I'm using right now that I'm showing you guys how to clean those are my eyeliner brushes. I use those with the Tarte paste. I'll be leaving some links below so you know what these brushes are for. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Rosie's Reviews, and check out my other videos that I have. And give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave me any comments and I will talk to you guys soon. Here are my brushes. They are ready to go. They are dry and I'm just waiting to put on makeup once they become dry. Alright guys, so hope to see you soon. And leave me a comment, a shout out. Let me know how I did. Thank you.